Hey, Pete here, the creator and founder of Promptimizer. So here's a quick like behind the scenes demo of what the app does. There's like four core features. Number one, prompt management and organization and click to copy everything. Easy to search, search blog post one or whatever. Just organizing prompts, quickly finding prompts, copying them to your keyboard, etc. This is like the big thing. Right. This is what I use every single day whenever I use chat GPT or actually I use Claude three these days. I switched over a couple months ago. Variables though, a little extra bonus here. You can see this modal pop up when I clicked the copy this prompt for some different variables. Let's actually just create a new prompt right now. Let's just do a joke. Tell me a sweet joke about, and then I'll just do like topic. How about that? I'll leave the description blank for now. You can select a category optionally as well. And then you can also select to keep this private. No one else will be able to see this prompt. It'll be in your account or you can make it public and it will be discoverable. Discoverable? Sounds like a weird word. On this page right here. And you can also discover other prompts and you can search and use categories and copy them over to your own prompt library here in one click and uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, where is my joke thing? It's down there. You can also just quickly search and do copy. Enter in that topic variable. Let's just say um, coffee mugs. Hit enter or click submit or whatnot, and then you're good to go. Just paste it wherever you use your AI. Why did the coffee mug file a police report? Because it got mugged this morning. Boom. Nice work. So uh, really quick, these other ones. Well, I'll show you the actual AI chat here in... Uh, just a minute. This is a demo account. So I have a bunch of like weird chats at the moment. Scenarios though, it's basically just a collection of uh, variables that will auto populate. For example, different blogs for me, I'm a content creator. I have different YouTube channels, different brands. This could be different projects you're working on, different clients you have, or whatever that is. Different classes. If you're a teacher or whatnot, my wife's a teacher. So I use those examples a lot. Um, so you see here, I have two blogs. Do you even blog? Do you even pizza? The URL is different. The brand name is obviously different. The topics that I cover on each site is different. And my writing style, I like to be a little bit different. And I could add more. You can add a scenario with like whatever. And then name equals Pete. Then maybe subject equals math or whatever that is. And then save. So when you are in the AI chats or whatnot, these variables will auto populate. It won't give you the modal to like do them. So let's say I'm writing an article for do even pizza. You just click set and you can always clear that it'll show up here. You can always hit clear to clear your scenario or whatnot. I'm gonna set that one and uh, I might as well show off chats at this point. These are all my demo chats. Let's do a new one, a new chat. And then let's go with the, I'll show you chains as well. So chains is basically prompt chains a specific order. I'll just show you that really quick. And then we'll do this chat thing. So chains, you can of course edit and delete these. I'll just show you my, my blogging one. How about that? Pete's blogging chain edit. And you can see, I have all my prompts over here that you could search for or whatnot. And then you can add them to this blogging chain and you can move up, move down, remove the specific prompt. You can add more, obviously write the title description set a category, whatever you want it to be public or private as well, and then, uh, save it. And now this prompt chain will appear if you want it to, of course, you got to select it. Let's do this chat right here. Now I can select Pete's blogging chain and it filters on my prompts and shows them right down here in the specific order. And you can even see the purple variables. These variables have been auto populated by the scenario. If I take this away, this brand right here, it will do that. And then, oh, I got to reselect blogging chain. Now those variables will be prompted. It'll prompt me for this prompt variables. Let's actually go back and I'll just show, we'll set the scenario again. Let's do, do you even pizza How about that? Set that one, go back to chain or no chats, and then go back to this brand new chat. Let's pull open one blog post one priming. I'm actually just gonna, I could just click it, but that'll actually copy it to the clipboard. And I don't really need to do that right here. I'm just gonna command click or control click if I were on Windows. 
it'll still uh, ask me for this keyword for the blog post I'm writing, New York style recipe. And I'm just gonna hit enter on my keyboard, which is submit, or you can click the button and it'll send it to the AI right there. And so let's actually pull up the whole prompt chain here. That was one. Here is two facts and facts. Uh, this could be extra details. I don't know what to put here for right now. I like a combo of bread flour and 10% rye flour, which is actually true, by the way. If you're making New York style pizza at home, that's like the perfect thing. Blog post three outline, just command click, sends it right to the AI. It's gonna take a little bit longer because I'm asking it to do an entire outline here. Here's the outline, everything's in markdown, which I could copy this and just click to copy all the uh, chat responses or whatnot. You can copy those as well to your clipboard for easy pasting wherever. And then, uh, which one am I on here? Intro, I'll copy those too. Command click, send that one. And I'll write the intro, everything's in markdown again. You can ask uh, to, well, you can also type down here, of course. Reformat that as HTML. You basically just a, your standard like AI chat here. Copy it and you can paste it wherever. You can see the HTML actually happened there. And that's basically prompt mode in a nutshell. Organize prompts, quickly search for and copy prompts, which is the big one for me personally. AI chats built right in. You can rename these, rename this blog post or whatever. I'll see prompt chains. I showed you scenarios. I showed you, uh, there's also docs. It's docs.promptimizer.com. It'll show you more tutorials and uh, feedback and bug reports and all that good stuff. So that's it. Promptimizer in a nutshell, the chats and the prompt chains feature is actually a pro feature which at the moment is only $9 a month at the time of this recording. If you're watching this video, it might be more. I'm also gonna have a plus plan with the premium AI models like Cloud3 Opus, Cloud3.5 Sonnet, and some other ones like that, the expensive open AI models as well. And that's it. Email Pete at doyouevenblog.com. That would be me. If you have any questions on anything, and uh, that's all I got. I hope you enjoy Promptimizer.